the latest release of QTM includes new digital force plate integrations. Kistler force plates with digital output are now supported. Because QTM can receive digital data directly from the force plates, the Kistler DAC box is no longer required, which simplifies the setup. The digital Burtek force plate integration has also been improved for both the AM6800 and the AM6500 digital amplifiers. Skeleton Assisted Labeling SAL, has been updated to check through entire trajectory parts when identifying markers. If any point on the trajectory part is farther from the segment marker than the maximum distance allowed, the trajectory part will not be identified with that marker. The SAL settings page allows you to change the threshold needed for a trajectory part to be considered for a marker and the maximum distance that a part can be before it is disqualified. When calibrating your Qualysys system, you can now stop calibrations before the specified time is up. The Automatic Identification of Markers AIM, information is now saved with every measurement even if AIM is not enabled as a processing step. This allows you to apply AIM to previously recorded, unprocessed data. The skeleton generated from the sports marker set has an improved arm joint location. As always, you can find the latest version of QTM as well as related plugins and SDKs at qualysys.com and the Qualysys GitHub page.